So when you're starting off TurboCAD, you're going to have to use this line tool. So using the line tool is always going to happen in combination with this length and angle. When you're talking about creating precision, the way you can type in the distance of a line is to click your starting point, and then you need to define that second point over there. And the easiest way of doing that is to click, obviously, but usually when you want to type in a length, you're going to hit the tab key and go down to the length field. And you can see how it's highlighted. And then I can type my, my length. And then I can hit the tab key again. And then I can type in my angle. Now notice if I type in 0, then it's, it's a flat line. If I type in 90, it's going straight up. If I type in 180, uh, it goes left, you see. So I can precisely choose what angle it's going to work at. So now the next method I'm going to use to draw a line is to go from here upwards, okay? So the way I do it all the time without any fuss is to move somewhere onto the line without any, not away here or not there, you move the cursor onto the line. And as long as it's on the right hand side of the line, you're going to snap to the right side. If you're on the left side of the line, you're going to snap to the left side. So I move my cursor onto the line, and then I simply press the V key on the keyboard, or V for vertex. It's the same as this, this vertex snap over here, but it's a keyboard shortcut. So I, I hate coming here and turning these guys on and off all the time, but sometimes they're handy to have around. So I've just moved on. Uh, now, once I've defined that line, and also make a note, I haven't clicked my mouse at all. Let me do that again. Now I'm going to click my mouse. Right click. I'm going to choose cancel. So I'm just going to do that one more time. I'm in the line tool. I don't care what my snap modes are. I just move onto the line and I press V. Okay. And it snaps to the end of that line. All right. Then I can hit my tab key to go down to the length field there at the bottom. And I can type in the length of my line. So in this case, it's going to be four and I'm going to hit tab, and it's going to be at an angle of 90. And then I'm going to hit enter. 